right, so um, uh, my parts came in for my bead lock, so I'll be able to get them fixed and back on the truck. Um, I also was able to finally get this thing out and drive it um, with the suspension mods and the new servo and uh, my new radio. Um, I'm loving the new radio. Uh, it's pretty awesome. So um, as far as the servo, the servo is great too. The servo the whole time a whole lot better than the um, one that was on there. And um, as far as the suspension mod, well, I took it out and uh, I was having a rough day. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, where I crawl at, a lot of people fish, and then a lot of people are not good humans. Um, but they leave garbage everywhere over there, and it's right by the water. And uh, they also leave fishing line. So um, luckily, I brought all my tools with me because I had to take off both one front and one back wheel because two times I got tangled up in fishing line. And I mean, the front wheel was so tangled in fishing line it was in the axle. Um, behind the pin, everything, it was just tucked in there. It was pretty ridiculous. So, um, and I, I just couldn't really, I was having a problem with the truck. It was just all over the place. It really wasn't reacting where I was used to reacting. And I haven't had it that long, but, you know, I got used to it a little bit and, uh, I couldn't figure out why. So I just was like, I'm done. I'm going home. So I went home. On my way home, I was thinking, like, why is the truck driving like this? And uh, I figured out that I haven't driven it since I moved the springs. I moved the back springs to the front and the front springs to the back. Um, unfortunately, that didn't work for me. Uh, the truck reacts completely different. Um, it's an easy mod, but it's just not something that it doesn't, my, you know, it didn't, the truck completely was different. So it just didn't work for me. Um, what I'm planning on doing is I actually ordered some different springs. Um, the rear stock springs in this that I moved to the front are I think 1.13 pounds per inch or whatever and then the um, front ones that are already on here like 2.36 or somewhere around there so what I did is I ordered a 1.70 axial spring for the front I'm gonna try that I did also order new shocks um, I pretty much had it with these shocks to leak and just everything I don't know I just can't do it. So I ordered some cheap shocks, but we're going to go over them when they come in. Um, I'm going to run the stock actual springs and the stock cups on the bottom and the stock um, shock ends. Um, so, yeah. But like I said, um, so right now I'm going to get, uh, actually, these are the parts that came in. These are the, our RC four-wheel drive Pro-Line specific internal rings for the bead locks. These are my uh, new plus six offset hubs. And um, also I ordered, the bead locks have six screws in them um, to hold the bead on the back. They have M3 by six screws in them. I actually ordered some M3 by eight screws. The wheels threaded deeper than six, than M6 millimeter screw, so. Uh, just for a little added insurance, I'm going to put these in there. Um, so, I also picked those up. Hopefully that changes a little bit. Works a little bit better. But, uh, yeah, so, this week I'm going to get these wheels back on here. And, um, that's probably it. We'll get these wheels together and get them on here and uh, go from there. Alright, so we're going to compare... The center of um, of these. So let's see. Hmm. They're a little bit bigger. I mean, like a little bit. So yeah, the the, the new ones. These are Proline specific ones. Are a little bit bigger than the original ones. It's probably hard to see because it's barely anything. But they are definitely a little bit bigger. Um, maybe they're a little bit deeper too. I don't know. They're definitely bigger. That's weird. But anyway, let's see. Yeah, they're a little bit deeper, I think. Let's see. Oh, no, they're definitely a lot bigger. Because the witch call fits in them. The actual wheel fits into the beadlock. Where with these... 
the wheel sits on the beadlock, on the um, on the inner ring. So that's probably because the beads on these tires are probably a lot bigger than the RC four wheel drive tires. All right, so we know. All right, I'm just gonna get busy and uh, do these, take care of them. All right, so um, I also decided to change the hub on all these first before I get the tire on. I think it'll be a little bit better of a of a situation. So let me get one of these hubs out and see the difference. So this is the stock one that came on the wheel, and then this is the six millimeter plus six millimeter offset. So you can definitely see the difference. Hopefully, I didn't go too far. Um, this might be a three, six, eight. They had nine, I think. So I just want to kind of get in the middle. But yeah. Um, so hopefully, they don't put it out too far. But. All right, so I got them all done. Um, like I said, it was a million times easier with the inner rings. Uh, longer screws that I put in the back fit fine also. Um, like I said, I knew they were going to because when I did it the original time, I used longer screws to get it started because it was such a hard, um, a tight fit that I couldn't get it started. So I knew it was threaded. The wheels are threaded a lot deeper, so that, that um, 8 millimeter screw was good. It went in there and uh, feel a little bit better about it than those sixes. I mean, the six is probably fine, but the eight gives me a little bit more thread. But uh, I do like these, these wheels and tires. They're seated so much better. Um, this little piece here, you can't really see it, but there's like a little lip. It's all the way around the rim. When I did it the first time, it, it just looked terrible. So I'm um, glad I found it out. Like I said, I wish I would have found it out sooner, but we get them mounted up, and we're going to compare the difference to... Uh, these compared to the stock tires so so here's a quick before shot this is with the stock wheels and tires on it again this is the front stock wheels and tires stock wheels and tires on the rear. So here's a side shot. Alright, let's see if we can get the back shot. So here's a shot from the back. New wheels and tires. Thing leans so crazy because the shocks are so shot on it. All right, and then from the front, one more shot from the front. So there it is, the front with the new wheels and tires. So you can see they're definitely a little bit wider, a little bit they're a little bit taller for sure. So. All right, so that's it for this week. I'm just doing the wheels and tires. Um, but I'm happy they're done. They look really, really nice. Um, I don't mind any plastic wheels, uh, but these look so much better. And hopefully these tires are a lot better. I do plan on getting another set of these in um, R35 compound. These these tires, I do like these tires. But um, the, hopefully, you know, these tires work well for me. So um, that's it. Hopefully my shocks and springs come in so I can put new shocks on this thing finally. Get rid of these leaky ones. Um, but that's it. Thanks for watching.